Good morning, WayFam from Guanajuato. This is our last full day in the city, and we are going to check out some of the historic sites around. What a wonderful Okay, we have met up with Alex and we are gonna go to the museums now. But just a reminder, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, we love likes because they help make the video look good. So hit that like button if you like in this video and uh, we're gonna be making a lot more videos in Mexico still, so stick around. Also on the faces of people going by, I see friends We have come to Museo Iconográfico del Quixote. Um, it's an art gallery with Don Quixote, right? And other stuff, so let's check it out. <laughs> we say Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Don Quixote, yeah. <laughs> That's how, like, if we said Don Quixote, I would know who you're talking about. But if you say Don, Don Quixote or whatever. What a wonderful world. Do you have any thoughts about these paintings you've seen so far? Uh, they are beautiful. All these paintings are from artists around Mexico. They all have different interpretations, I guess, of uh, Don Quixote. I love art, seeing art, and just people's way that they do it themselves because I suck myself. <laughs> Actually, I'm really good at stickman. Really, really good. So if you want a stickman um, exhibition, let me know. I'll be sure to do that for you. <laughs> One fun fact that we haven't actually mentioned yet, and maybe you already know this, but Don Quixote is not a historical figure whatsoever. It is a story, not even based on anyone in particular, but about Don Quixote. So all these paintings, all these interpretations are someone's idea from the book. And for some reason, Guanajuato has sort of adopted Don Quixote and they've got a museum dedicated to him as well as art everywhere. Eh, that's kind of cool. So this museum is quite large. It's about 60 pesos per person to get in, about $3. And you have a lot of different art styles to choose from. Some of these paintings behind us are done on leaves. A really cool technique. I mean, there's so much different art here. You could spend uh, probably a good two hours if you took your time and just looked at everything. Buildings here in Guanajuato is El Teatro, the theater Juarez. El Teatro Juarez. I don't know. I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but it's one of the, the main beautiful buildings here in the city that you have to see when you come visit. It does cost, I think, 35 pesos to go in, but we hear it's very beautiful, so we're gonna take a look. Just kidding, it's closed. We can't get in, but it is 35 pesos if you want to go in when you come to visit Guanajuato. I have no idea why it's closed. The Post of Times says it should be open, um, but hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, 
I have no idea. But there's plenty more to do in the city, so let's find something else. Guanajuato is so beautiful. There's this whole walking street down the center of town, and you can come from the Teatro de Juarez, or if I said that right, and there's restaurants, there's shops, everything that you could possibly need here downtown, and sculptures, architecture, art, everything. It's really cool. You can you can just walk around the city and be satisfied. I think it's said to have the enchiladas here, that they're traditional. Oh, yeah. So we could try those. We're getting really hungry, so we've come to the market, and there's a lot of, like, you can buy trinkets and everything, but this section is just food, and it's a Lots whole building of, of it. Yeah. They're all waving their um, yeah, yeah. news at us. All right, we'll come in. Hola. <laughs> Okay, so Ashley got some enchiladas of some sort. Awesome. But very good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. <laughs> and then I got some flatas. Now flatas is something that I typically get at home, but I thought I'd try it here. Mm, it looks really good, like fried chicken. That's so good. It's really fresh. I'm so happy to have some vegetables right now. I think my body's like been craving them. Because tacos don't have that many vegetables in it and that's pretty much what we've been living off of. Yeah, or, or <laughs> nutrients, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this tastes so delicious. I think it was about $4. It's kind of expensive even though we're in the market area, but we actually went to the beat first place that we went and I think that other places are cheaper in this area but we were hungry and I kind of was just blinded by food honestly <laughs> <laughs> when you come to these little markets just know that the little booths tiny booths they're different places they have different prices and they serve different things or and or the same thing the different price so just kind of take a minute to look around lesson learned <laughs> This market is huge. Ginormous. A ton of food on the first floor. And then a the second floor seems like it has all the trinkets and dresses and stuff. But let's walk around just a little bit and then we'll head back. <laughs> So, I gotta say, one of the things I like about Guanajuato is that as a tourist destination, and it is very much a tourist area, it is focused on, uh, like, the Hispanic peoples. I mean, so many of the tourists that are here are from within Mexico. Yeah. I like that. There are a lot of non-Mexican people here, but they're still greatly outnumbered by the amount of tourists who are Mexican and Hispanic visiting here. I like it a lot. Yeah, I love that the city is built kind of like a bowl. Yeah. Actually, in the 1700s, there was a huge flood because all of the water from the mountains around came down into the city. Um, and it was a big deal for It was Guanajuato. pretty devastating, to be honest. Yeah. So they actually built tunnels and different things now so that they can survive big rainfalls, although it does not rain here very often. Yeah, but uh, the tunnels are built for drainage now. There's tunnels all underneath the city, and it's a really unique area. I love it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed Guanajuato. Yeah. It's our last full day here. Tomorrow we are going to San Miguel something. Allende. Allende. So <laughs> I hope we encourage you to get out there and travel today, and we will see you in the next video. Adios, amigos. Adios. So pretty in the sky, our hearts are on the faces of people going by.